Hi, here with more Space Engineers, uh, and today, oh, uh, we're going to finish welding up, well, we're going to get more of the welding <laughs> done on the new utility craft, uh, maybe get it out for test flight, I've gotten a good portion of it welded up, just dropped, well, a little while ago I just dropped off some platinum, I've been waiting for it to finish refining as we're working through the thruster components here, let's go ahead and kick this over. Oh, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've spent the last few days doing nothing but actually mining, um, trying to get stuff done. I think I have now pulled, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe like 150k platinum out, a couple hundred k of iron, and I don't know how much stone. Also dropped off a little bit of gold as well. There's a couple. I don't know, that was maybe about like another 100, 150k, I think. Is some just ridiculous amount. Uh, let's see. We've gotten a start on some of the base. Some more of the base building that we've been trying to get done. Basically, well, well in between mining and waiting for things to refine. Makes it, you know, it's nice to have other things to do. Uh, pretty close, right? I'm going to... So go ahead and do that. Oh. Are you actually locked in? Yes. Okay. Oh, that was something. All right. <coughs> Let me show you what we've got going on over here. I need another 705 hay pups. My puppy just stuck his head on my lap. On his lap. <laughs> stuck his head on my lap. Oh. Hi. Yes. Oh. Okay, so. What we got going on is... <laughs> oh, I'm not going to play. <laughs> we've got the... The drills welded up. We've got pretty much everything in the ship welded up at this point. Um, like I said, we really are just working on the thrusters. And I think it's this one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab a few bits here. And we'll add more of this in. Let's see, we need 335, which I think we're going to have some of that. 124 left, huh? All right. So maybe we'll be able to get most of this welded up. I need 108. And you say I need 108. And there's two more. All right. What I was hoping is that what I may do, since we're tr just trying to get off the ground, how many more do I need? 106. Oh. Uh, still give us one large thruster for lift. One large thruster for propulsion, a bunch of small thrusters for braking and retro, or uh, lateral thrusting. Oh. See, I'm trying to get this thing to the point where I can get it up onto the big landing pad so that we can get it um, set up for charging. Now I did make a, a little bit of a change in here because I put in the extra drill up front. I went ahead and took that sloped vent out, put in the uh, the full conveyor air vent. Let's get this stuff off of our thing. We now have a med bay that's wired in and piped in for O2, hydrogen, and health, obviously. Got a little bit of an area in here, and we have a crew quarter in here. Now the entire ship 
if we close um, any of the exterior door, well, either of these doors, the entire ship can be pressurized um, in each section individually or as a whole. So, yeah. And then I think I flipped those. Yeah, I did. All right, so we flipped the the windows in the upper section here. So now the uh, the windows are more centered in the space. And we've done that for both sides. So I'm liking the way this came out. Uh, not sure if I'm going to like it when we actually start using it. But as it is right now, I actually do like it. So uh, one of the other things that we're doing is I've gone ahead and put the framework for Bob's in here. Uh, we have you. Uh, let's go back up here. All right, so you need 89. That actually gets us pretty close. I need five detector components. Eighty-nine thruster components. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do here is let's go in here really quick. And I need five of th five of these. Those don't really require anything that we don't have ridiculous amounts of. And I think that's everything. Yes. Oh. Maybe not what we need. Okay. So there's that. You need 83. Right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those. Throw those in here, and that way, as we gather more resources, it'll be able to. We'll, we'll be able to come back and backfill that. But I only need three more, so. We've got five. Ha <laughs> ha. Do 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 copyright. <laughs> All right, and I think that's going to be enough to get us off the ground. So what I want to do is let's go external. Uh, there. Oh, hello. Oh, it's because the landing gear is connected. That's right. Okay. So how much time does it say we have on the batteries? Nine days. Mm. What, I'm, what I'm worried about is that arm. Ah, oh, no, I should be fine. I should be able to get out of here. All right, so we're going to come out of there and basically head that way. Okay. So if it says I've got nine days, I should have, when I turn everything on, hopefully. Okay, so we're gonna go thrusters. Hi, what you doing? Yeah, it looks like everything is actually in there. Uh, I want to set, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there. We're going to try. Uh, which one is this? This is port side. I guess. <laughs> you were just an attention monster tonight, aren't you? Huh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You know what we're gonna do? 
just to make this easier. Uh, I don't know, I think this one was port. And I think this one was starboard. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna come through and rename them anyway once we get them get them upstairs. But it's more so that uh, we want you to be such luck. You want to be such luck. Right. And then both of you need to be set to no strength. Okay. Uh, wow, and landing here. You switch lock. I actually want you to not auto lock. Okay, so let's. Oh, yeah, wait. Uh. Batteries, which is weird because I thought I had a group of those already. Okay. Groups, batteries, uh, recharge on off. Okay. Oh, I think that's everything. Let's make sure our gyro is turned on. It is is okay so we are going to turn on our thrusters do a quick sanity check make sure everything is that can turn on is turned on you are definitely on fire okay you are all burning you're all burning as are all of you okay we're looking pretty good then. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. They weren't loaded up yet. Man, we can see. Everything within miles here. All right. Now comes the fun part of trying to land this thing without blowing everything up. Right. So we want the large thruster over <laughs> with the uh, blast doors that are done. And yes, we're going to put some cameras on this thing and we'll get some utility stuff set up for it. And you come back just a wee bit. And that one? Yep. Okay, so we can then go turn those off. Uh, 
let's see here. And starboard connector. Alright, so I've got these backwards. Okay, so you're actually starboard. And you are port. And I can tell because of the fact that there's no option to lock or unlock, where this one has an option to lock and unlock. Okay, so. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want these batteries on recharge. Just to make sure. Uh, utility craft. Yep, okay. Fully recharged in 11 minutes. And now that it's piped in, we can turn that vent on, turn that vent on, go ahead and close these up, and this thing is holding Atmo, which is what we want. We can recharge our health, life, and oxygen. Um, now, I didn't put any lights in here yet, so I think we're going to need to do that. And what I think we're going to do is let's go with these are components. Yeah. Uh, that should be enough. Okay, so you're going to be like that. Huh? Okay. Hmm. All right, so and how do we want to do the light in here is the question. What I may do, I may do that. Okay, so. Okay, so this one's the utility craft. Oh, uh, you are the medbay light. Hab light. Okay, you two are going to be uh, five meters to that. You are going to be 7.5, also a two, and um, two here. But we're going to do a bit of a pale yellowish. Awesome. I may actually end up doing that for these guys as well. I may go. Uh, let's see here. If we go. Point five isn't a bad option. And for you, I think we're going to go six. So it gives you just a little bit more light. Yeah, I like that. It's not so just ridiculously overpowering that you go blind. 
You always want the med bay to be a little bit brighter, at least, you know, my preferences. And I may actually go ahead and change all of them to this light, to this yellowish color. Hmm, we'll see. Now, um, you. There we go. Oh, paint those up so that they blend in with the rest of the ship. And I had a couple of folks asking if we we're going to paint the ship. We are. We are actually going to paint this thing. Um, Eventually. Well, we're going to paint the base, too, but, you know. <laughs> now, one of the things I had thought about doing was actually putting the lights on the uh, in the corners of the bridge here. And I may still do that. Um, and then that will let me have seating back here that we can have uh, for passenger seats. Uh, I want you. Message light. Turn that on. Uh, let's go six and a half for you. It's interesting that this has a higher intensity than I think the the uh, corner lights do. I don't think the corner lights go to ten. Oh, uh, well, I guess they do. It's just a lower uh, default intensity. What is that? That's 186. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, we're going to do hab. Also to 186. And for the folks who are direct, uh, I've had one or two people ask, how do I get that quick menu up for precise uh, values? If you do left control and left click on the slider, if you can, if it has the option to use it, it'll pop that interface up for you. Okay. And see that light at that level works much better. Okay. Yeah, that works. Ah, okay, so ship is charging. Uh, what do you have? You have five minutes for full charge. I want, basically, I wanted to get this up here and get it recharging before the sunset. Um, so that way we could actually utilize this, because as you can tell, since we've only got basic refinery running right now, uh, let me see here. I may not have actually anything running. At the, yeah, okay, so it's just the one refinery and intermittently the assembler. We're using very little power, so all the batteries on throughout the base can be charging, which is good. And I want... Oh... Uh, You should be that one. Okay, and then I want to block tools. I'll have to I'll have to disconnect from the grid to do that one, which is fine. And we're going to actually Let's use the double here. And this is going to be double. And 
this is going to be entry lights. I want you to be, let's go 10 meters on that. Max that, do two, and then I don't think I want it to be white light, and I don't think I want it to be yellow light. I think I want to, oh, maybe. If we go there. Let's try that. Those thrusters are huge. Okay. Grab another of these. I forgot these things take like 10 by themselves. Oh, six. Yeah, that's good. Detector. You should be turned off. There we go. Okay. And I think that's going to about do it for us. I want to get some more of the thruster components. Actually, how many more thruster components do I have? I've got a bunch queued up. Only got 120. Actually, that's enough to get the you back online. Okay. And not too bad on that. All right. Forty five. All right. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, I think that's going to do it for us today. The rest of this is basically just going to be waiting for the thruster components to load up. Um, I do kind of want to take this thing out. Uh, so I want to go do a little bit of cursory mining with it just to test it. You know what? Let's take it for a quick trip. Take a look. Now I've still got a couple of batteries that are incomplete. All right, hold on a second. I need to figure out where those are. How the hell do I have batteries on this thing? That are incomplete. More importantly, where are batteries on this thing that are incomplete? Oh, I see one back there. I think there's one there. There's one there. Can I get into those? I don't know if I can even get into those. I might have to weld up Bob and have Bob take care of those. All right, so let's go here. Don't need you. Let's have Bob take care of that for us. See, all this because I want to take these guys out. Uh, build. Thank you. We're going to leave these on walk so that they will only go for our current grid. To grind before weld. Uh, 
Uh, no, no, no. And push commands immediately. These don't matter because it's on walk. Okay. Um. The question is, is do we actually have the parts for those batteries? <laughs> I don't know that we do. Uh, what do we need? I wonder if I can. Can I squeeze in there? No. Alright, so. What are you? Hmm. So here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go into here, large grid. I think that's mostly what it needs. You guys need silicon, nickel, and iron, which I... Yeah, I have ridiculous amounts of that. I am not even cl close to being worried about. The computer's the only other thing that I can think of that I might need. Yeah, I'll have it do the computers and everything. Are you actually loading up stuff in my area that you're not supposed to be loading? Alright, come here, you. Will you quit welding stuff up? So yeah, we're just waiting for him to finish those batteries. It looks like he may have gotten one. Let's swing around over here really quick. Oh, nope. not quite yet. Oh, you know why it's full? Because he's attached to the grid. See, this is one of those times when space engineers made a change that causes problems for other folks. Actually missing anything, you're just bogged down. Looks like that battery is up, and that battery is mostly done. Uh, 
All right, so let's go cargo. We want this ship only. Uh, are there any batteries that are still incomplete? Just you. Four hours. Well, you know, it never hurts to have everything loaded up for you while you're sitting here, right? <sighs> Silly Bob. Okay. So, we need. What do we need? Uh, let's see what we've got for ingots. So we need some gold. Uh, we've got gold behind us. Oh, that one may be about tapped out, but let's see. Okay, all of our batteries are online, right? Battery 9 is online. Okay, so... You two knock it off. Alright. <laughs> uh, I need to clean up this hotbar really quick. Remove. Okay, so we want groups. So you craft batteries. We'll go here. We want that to be a recharge on off. Uh, connectors should be switch lock. Switch lock. And any year, put that there, switch lock. All right, so we can tell that to unlock. We can switch battery over, we can turn thrusters on and That's not good. And excavating we go. Oh, I need to take that gear out. Oh. Hmm. 
Well, maybe not. Ooh, that's loud. All right, so. I am going to call this one here. <laughs> We're going to just be doing a wee bit of mining in here. Uh, what am I? Oh, so I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit those like buttons. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to uh, drop those down in the section below. You know the drill. Hit the likes, hit the subscribe. Have fun with it. Ah, uh, wondering. And this don't seem like they're clearing out very much space now. They used to clear out more. Are you actually picking stuff up? Nope. You are excavating. Okay. Ah, uh, so yeah. We're gonna just be. Uh, busy with this see if we can get down there and i, I think i'm gonna have to take that gear off maybe uh, i know what I, may, what I may need to do is i may need to drop another drill on the bottom of it because i think when i dropped it uh, the cargo container down. I think that screwed up my uh, my numbers there a little bit. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's the fun part of Space Engineers. It's guiding rail. And we'll just make our way down here. Slowly but surely. And, uh... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, might be better to go ahead and add a couple of more drills to it. It's not like having more drills hurts. 